thanks for everyone uh, for the organizer of this uh, seminar. Uh, the um, this is the as it was already said. You said everything I should have been saying now. So I don't know what to say now. <laughs> And because I have a short presentation about now about the Lansing project, so uh, because of course the, the 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 whose partner there inside knows about it, but it's worthwhile that the other very shortly know about it. So if they want to join it, because it's an open network, so anyone can join it. And uh, this is what we really would like to do, and I will show you how. Lens network, not just for this project, but even for other things, is really uh, diffusing world, uh, worldwide. And uh, so I thank for the organizer of the of this seminar, and um, and I'm very glad to be back here in uh, in India and in Bangalore. I love this place really a lot. It's it was. Uh, I mean, I feel like in in a family. I mean, I was. Hugging all <laughs> my career yesterday, having the evening, and I said, "Why these guys hugging everyone?" But it's it's like really we are kind of a family. I don't know. I, every every time I see you, it's uh, it's so nice, and I hope that the lens community is it's something like this. We are dealing for sustainability, which is a big issue, uh, more than uh, all the people perceive. Uh, and I think that within this community, we are not just colleagues and very committed to these things, but uh, we really become friends. I have really lots of friends around the world. And these friends are friends uh, among each other when they meet, even from very different culture. I was in China for the other conference, uh, uh, for the other seminar uh, two or three weeks ago, and, uh, uh, and, and, and that feeling was, uh, was there. And I think that even this is important, you know. The commitment, but even the is there a, a remote control for this, or I have to? <laughs> the light is on my eyes, so it doesn't work. I go here. So, I'm gonna say... So now I'm, I'm going to present you briefly, very briefly, the Lansing project. Uh, though actually, Mary said the key point. <laughs> so. Uh, I hope I will not bother you that much. Okay, so LENSIN uh, stands for the International Learning Network of Network of Higher Education, so university and school um, of design uh, dealing with uh, the diffusion of sustainability, so a network on sustainability. So about a consortium, uh, general objective and ethos, uh, the tools, the main activities, and so on. So as it was said, is a, a multipolar network of network uh, for the development and diffusion of curriculum on design for sustainability, focused on a specific issue, in this case, which is a, a sustainable product service system applied to distributed economy. I will come with my speech after a while uh, to talk a little bit more about this, so I would not lose time on this topic right now. And as it was said, uh, these are 36 uh, university partner, 14 partner are, uh, let's, let's say, partner with a budget. Uh, the other one are associate partner, um, so they don't have a direct budget, but they are involved in how and they are participating. And uh, I was at the EU uh, stakeholder, they call it stakeholder meeting in Brussels when there was, uh, you know, that was the first call of Erasmus Plus. You don't know, Erasmus Plus is a new program that allowed European uh, 
institution to involve not only B regional, uh, not only let's say uh, university from Asia or from Africa or from uh, South uh, South America and so on, but from all over the world. So we said, why not to try to involve uh, the different university that during the course of the year were actually <coughs> affiliating the lens ethos and way of doing and so on. So we tried these crazy things. And the point is that uh, it, it, it seems to be crazy because even the head of the uh, Erasmus Plus program called me and said, are you sure you want to go? <laughs> said, we will look at your project because it's really uh, different from any other. Uh, it's really the largest and most multi-regional project ever financed by the EU, ever financed by the EU. And we are, it's, we are design and sustainability, but apart from that, you know, it could be economy, discipline and whatever. <coughs> but in this case, I think that the quantity makes even the quality. Because the fact that we have uh, such a big alliances around the world, this makes really uh, the alliances uh, stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, the objective is that of promoting a new gen generation of uh, designer that are uh, capable of uh, designing system for sustainability for all. When we say for all, because for all is, has been used or it's used even for other meaning, is for even for low and middle income contexts, but even for uh, high income contexts. And this, throughout, it is very important, a new generation of design educator, like me, or researcher, because, of course, we are together, we are all the time collaborating with the student, but, of course, we have the role of developing resources, new knowledge, and then transmit this new knowledge to uh, the new uh, designer that will design a new sustainable world. The ethos, as it was said, is uh, learning, so I will skip this, is learning by sharing, so we have to understand that we are a community and since uh, sustainability is an urgent challenge, we cannot keep our knowledge, you know, hide it as a PowerPoint in our computer without sharing or our, you know, uh, what we uh, develop as thought, you know, hide it under copyright. We have to have something, we have to change the vision and the way in which we interact. We have to go towards, uh, you know, a learning by sharing. If uh, Deepta learned something, Mari learned something, I learned, you know, and y all of you, I cannot be Leonardo da Vinci knowing everything. And if you have been studying something, and I can take what you have been studying, of course, readapting to why my way of teaching, this is actually key important because it's key urgent. So um, this is, and to make this, we have to have it in open, open source, you, 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 you know, I believe very well what it is. Copyleft is the opposite of copyright. Creative Commons is usually used as alliances. It means that you can uh, let the other to rewrite and uh, reuse uh, your text without uh, limitation, if not the one to recognize the original authorship uh, of the text or whatever it is. And uh, we have a couple of tools. This is still the old tools because we are developing within the core uh, within the project the new one but anyhow we call it uh, an open learning e-platform or platform so there will be a series of uh, web platform based regionally so one in India one in uh, one in South Africa one in China one in uh, Mexico one in Brazil and so on and in other places but I will tell you and so that actually um, in each of those, um, the regional network will be responsible for the uploading of these learning resources. But then uh, we will have uh, an overall platform similar to the same platform from which you can uh, uh, browse into all the other. You can decide to switch. I want to look into the Lens India, Lens China, Lens uh, Italy. And you look into those uh, and you browse and you search uh, different things. And um, so we are hardly working on that. So what you can find as learning resources, courses and lecture, full courses, um, as video, as uh, slideshow, as text, uh, 
you can find tools for designer, you can find case studies, very important many time, you know, to, uh, to present, I mean, to, sh to show what is the reality, what could happen since it's already happening, but not only case study because case study is what was happening. We are even uh, looking for uh, new genuine ideas. So we have a space for project of student or young designer that are not yet uh, real project, but they, they might be very good idea and some company or some entrepreneur could be inspired by those and so on. Okay, the point is that this is locally uploaded, but it can be downloaded everywhere by this overall over platform, you know? And uh, anyone can do that, view and download these learning resources, <coughs> but the teacher can uh, actually, when they download the stuff, they can reuse, remix, uh, remix, uh, modify and whatever, and then reuse in their courses. You know, because maybe I've been doing a lecture on something, but I've been speaking about uh, design for sustainability with the agenda in Italy, which is not the agenda uh, here, or maybe my way of teaching, the way I'm saying the things here, you said it's too boring, I'm doing it in a different way, and so y you will change your way of doing it. The point is that you are free to readapt, but when you readapt, you, you upload again, and that could be useful for me or for other uh, within the community. It's a multipolar, so it's not the, uh, since I'm the coordinator and they're, you know, like a focal point. Th this is not really, it's really uh, multipolar and it goes in every direction. The other tools that we are <coughs> going to finalize are a set of uh, uh, lens lab. These are physical lab, physical places. Uh, and by the EU we get money, only you from, not us from Europe, we don't get any money to buy any computer, anything, only <laughs> non-European uh, countries uh, and uh, Lens Network uh, to have a space uh, equipped with computer uh, tool for design for sustainability, for video conferences, even video conferences because we want to have this, you know, networking system working well and so this could be helpful for this uh, purpose. And is as, uh, this place is basically uh, is are accessible for free. The idea is that in each of these labs there is uh, one chair that is always free for anyone that is coming uh, and want to have a, a place there to use the tools and to learn about what we are doing and so on. The main activity, very fast, we had the five uh, uh, seminars, this is the last international seminar, and it's here. We had other in the other places, and all the time uh, there were uh, even some European uh, colleagues coming. In this case, it's Politecnico di Milano and Brunel University joining. In other cases, it was different. Because we want this mix of uh, different perspective, culture, because this, we believe it will really enrich. Then it, everyone will take what is coming from this uh, transcultural interaction and then reproduce in, in, its, uh, in his or her own way. Then after that, we will start with the, uh, a, a two round of pi uh, pilot courses, curricular courses. This will be quite uh, challenging and very, very interesting. And again, in this case, there will be five, two round of five, a uh, European uh, professor will join a um, uh, local professor. And of course, these courses will be on designing sustainable product service system applied to distributed economies. <coughs> they are called pilot because we are piloting this. So we will learn so that uh, for the second round, we'll have something more. And for the near future, uh, newer generation of courses, we will have something to say and, and to go on. <laughs> then, as I said, we will design and implement the Lens Lab. We are on the course of doing that. We, were, we'll, we are working hardly on the web, we call it platform of, of platform, because there are different platforms and there is an overall platform. And uh, as usual, you, you know, when you work, work with a web the developer, is a hell of a job. The 
it's taking <laughs> always more time than is uh, forecasted, but this time I have forecasted more time than uh, it is usually. But uh, anyhow, uh, it will be, I hope, in a while available. Then, of course, um, we will have dissemination and exploitation uh, activities. But one thing I want to highlight since now is that uh, I hope it will be nice we, since we work on uh, distributed and decentralized uh, economy, we thought to make a decentralized conference. So it will be a conference that will be uh, happening simultaneously in China, in uh, India, here, in South Africa, in Brazil, and in uh, uh, Mexico, and even in Italy, in Milan. Simultaneously, of course, there is a difference of uh, time. We cannot win space-time, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, we will be doing a uh, uh, session in which you can, I mean, in some places you will have uh, in Milan the room from uh, India, and then you can listen speeches from India. Uh, broadcasted and other things that we will be able to do. We wait a little while because, you know, technology goes so fast that maybe in two years what we have in mind now could be uh, obsolete and we can do marvelous things uh, like uh, uh, on the enterprises moving pe people from here to there. Maybe not that. But, but the, to, to conclude this uh, uh, first introduction to the Lansing project, I want you to be aware of uh, where Lens is, Lensin is in, because the network is really uh, uh, amazing what, what happened. We were lucky or I don't know, something happened, but nowadays uh, there are 10 uh, regional networks. Not all of those are into the Lensin project, but they are there. So we have uh, Lens China, Lens India, Lens Oceania, Lens Africa, Lens Brazil, Lens Mexico, Lens Europe, Lens uh, German-speaking uh, language in, uh, in Europe. We have Lens Italy. And uh, recently I, I just came back from uh, Colombia. Uh, that was the second eco-design conference, uh, Latin American conference. And actually was there and I said, uh, why not to launch a Lens Colombia? And they were all happy and uh, really, you know, it was uh, incredible. They didn't know me or maybe they know me because of, uh, I, I've been working on design for sustainability, but inviting me there. And they were all committed, all committed and say, yes, we have to do that. We cannot, you know, um, uh, we have to share the things. Uh, we have to learn from each other. This is really key important. And if we can have, can be connected with the international network, this is great for us. And this was lunch over there. Uh, lunch over there, because lunch is something different. Um, and uh, just to say you, I, I come back from Colombia and the day after I took the flight to come here. So if I start sleeping you know, <laughs> in a while, forgive me. And then we have even one, uh, not only regional, we have one uh, uh, topic-related uh, network, which is on uh, sustainable energy system, the learning network uh, on sustainable energy system. Uh, that was held throughout uh, uh, three consecutive uh, EU-funded projects that is already uh, quite exceptional that they are giving with the same name, Lens3. The first one was uh, with a colleague uh, from Shristi and uh, from the Indian Institute of, of uh, uh, Technology and other co another uh, couple of university in Asia uh, from 2007-2010. And uh, okay, we started with that three years with the same uh, attitude and then from uh, uh, 2013 2016 it just ended with a nice conference in Cape Town uh, uh, one month ago uh, that was B regional with A Africa and that was related as I said before to sustainable energy system but you know 
all this help uh, <coughs> us. Well, we had the money to do something to remake the the, mm, the platform, to develop new tools and knowledge and so on. And so on. But this is uh, uh, was something important for the lens community in general because we were producing something that could have been used for the community. But before the end of this, uh, we were lucky or, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe we did it in a proper way to be awarded of this uh, new lensing project that, that I just uh, uh, told you about. And when I get to know before going to, it was the day before going to summer vacation, I received the email from the European community saying something, and I call my colleague Emanuela, Emanuela, read the email, what they are saying, a word, oh my God. <laughs> no, th and the oh my God was, I was really very happy about that, but then I understood what a hell of a work I was going to do for the <laughs> next year without a project that was not yet ended, but I think that uh, next time we have to go to look for partner from the moon because I don't know where else. We have to <laughs> find, and maybe ha we can learn something even from there. But I would like to conclude this uh, introductory uh, speech about the, the to tell you something about the Lansing project with a picture that is uh, coming from uh, the uh, Lens Conference Sustainability in Design Now in Bangalore in October 2010. At the end, where we were actually signing uh, it, the, um, the Lens Manifesto for an, an open and copyleft ethos for a learning by sharing community. So saying to the university, we have uh, an urgency. We have to really uh, change the way in which we produce the knowledge, share the knowledge, uh, because we have to go uh, faster. We have really to be a community into, into that. And uh, maybe you recognize uh, someone here, other person uh, <laughs> from other part of uh, the world, but that was really a great conference here and into which uh, we really had uh, people from all over the world and representative from the learning network that at that time were already, had already been established. And that was for us, uh, the understanding that lens was not over. It was such a great commitment that we said, no, we, ha we can go on. So we made a second and a third project that is the one for which we are working here. Thank you for the attention. <laughs>